Alright, in this video we're going to actually explore limits of piecewise defined functions. And we're going to use this piecewise defined function right here to look at a couple of different examples. So to be clear, this is the function f of x which equals 3 minus x when x is bigger than or equal to 2 and it equals x, plus, or x over 2 plus 1 when x is less than 2. And we're going to look at two different limits of this function at two different values. Okay, so in the first case, let's look at the limit as x approaches 2 of my function f of x. And remember, f of x is equal to the piecewise defined function, 3 minus x when x is bigger than or equal to 2, and x over 2 plus 1 when x is less than 2. Okay. So since my function is defined differently on either side of 2, in order to evaluate this limit, I must look at the left and the right-handed limits. So let's first look at the left-handed limit. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x, well, how is f defined to the left of 2? It is x over 2 plus 1. Now I look to see if I can do direct substitution, which I believe I can. If I plug in 2 here, I get 2 over 2, which is 1 plus 1, which is 2. So the limit of this function from the left is 2. Now let's look at the right-handed limit. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x, well, I now plug in what f is, how f is defined to the right of 2, and that is 3 minus x. So if I plug 2 in here, I get 1. And I notice my limits are not equal. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x does not exist. Now, let's, let's see if we can also explore this limit graphically. So if I were to sketch the graph of this piecewise function, well, that's not hard to do. I'm going to have to s have two different drawings based on the different x, uh, the different domains of my piecewise function. So 2 is the place where things switch. So when x is greater than or equal to 2, my function looks like this line, 3 minus x. So I know that when it starts at 2, so if I plug in 2, I get 1. Now if I plug in 3, I get 0. I know this is an equation of a line, so I know that my function looks like this for x values bigger than or equal to 2. Alright, this also is a line, and it's a line with positive slope, and if, if we could start it at 2, then our function would be 2 over 2 plus 1, which is 2, but it's not defined at 2. All the way up to 2 it looks like that line, so at 2, 2, we're going to put an open circle. Okay? Now, when x is 0, my function is 1, so I have this line. Now, let's look at the, the limit question graphically. The question is, what's the limit of this function as x approaches 2? Well, clearly from the left, my function is approaching 2, and from the right, my function is approaching 1. So we could see this both graphically and algebraically. Now what if I instead asked you this question? What is the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x? Well, although this is a piecewise defined function, near 1, so to the left and the right of 1, this function is defined as x over 2 plus 1. Okay, because here's my x of interest in this case, and from the left of 1, my function is approaching 1 half plus 1, which is 3 halves, and from the right of 1, it's, appro it's approaching that same value. So here, I don't have to look at left and right-handed limits, um, even though we have a piecewise function, because the, where I'm exploring the limit is not the place where I, I change definitions. Okay?